now we'll create our update function model and we'll call the update fm in update task through program. So in our RFC session, we have created this RFC, ZDemo underscore RFC. And here we mark that as RFC. There was no importing parameter. And we have to exporting like header item values. And the import was a table. Three table we use. One ZU VBAK header. ZU VBAP line item. ZU VBAP schedule line. The so same RFC functional model I am going to use. I will copy this and I will make this as an update FM. So see the structure here for the header. We have VBLN, ER date, and Kunar. And for the line items, we have VBLN, Postnar, Matnar, ARKTS, KWMensch, VRKME. So before this session, better if we can go through the RFC session first, because the same concept I'm going to use here. The last is VBUP, that is schedule line, VBLN, Postnar, ETNR, E.2, WMENG, and sales unit. So based on these three custom Z table, here I'll define the tables as IT header, items, and schedule. And in the source code, if that table is not initial, we are updating the record into the respective table. Okay, so this is RSC demo F1 we created. First, go to that session, then see this like update FM session. So what I will do here, I will copy this Z demo underscore update. Okay. I'm making that FM as Z demo underscore update FM. And now here in the attributes tab, I'm marking this update FM. This is important. Fine. Save. Check. See here. Exporting parameters are not allowed in the update task because the update FM this works only in the asynchronous mode, not in the synchronous mode. Now, what is asynchronous mode? I already explained at the time of RFC. So here we have to remove all this. One, two, and three. Okay, and same from the program. We cannot pass any exporting parameter in the update FM because this work this works as a in asynchronous mode. Again, save, this time no error, and activate. Okay, so our ZDemo underscore update FM is ready now. Next, what I will do? To consume the RFC, RFC FM, we created this program. I'm going to copy this as well. Z update FM call. Let me first activate this as it is. Okay, here I will remove all this part. Let me delete all this part. Now what you have done in this, here we have defined the internal table as per our requirement. This is also not required because there is no exporting parameter. On selection screen we have sales order. Based on that, by selecting data from VBAK, VBAP, and VBEP. Okay. To check the values, I will open the table here. VBAK. So based on that, we can pass the values. So till 8, I have the record in this custom table. Set VBAK. Okay, till 7 we have the record here. Let me check the VBAP as well. ZU VBAP. Here also we have the record. Record number 7. Now, what
what we have to do see first i will call the fm as a normal even though we have created as a update fm but i will call as a normal function model and see the response here i am going to pattern this is my function model name z demo underscore update fm let me set one breakpoint here and here i am opening all the exceptions and it underscore header it underscore items and it underscore schedule save check sorry gt header gt item and gt schedule save check and activate okay see even this update fm but initially i'm calling as a normal fm and see the changes now my last record my last header record in the database table was 7 for both z u v b a k and z u v b a p so i will pass the record number 8 from this screen from this screen i am passing the record number 8 okay so first i call as a normal screen so let's see the value first gt header one record gt item one record schedule one two record so all the key field is 8 for item also 8 and for schedule and also it is 8 okay cipher was equal to 0 as of now now if i press f6 and execute i not print anything in the output and now if i see here here you can see the record number 8 is created in the zu vb ap table okay let me also show you header table that is zu vb ak here also see record record number 8 now imagine a situation where our header is success but item is getting fail and our requirement is in such case we don't want to any record to be inserted or updated okay we don't want any record to be inserted or updated let me just let me just add the exceptions code as it is which we have used in the rfc call Here, what is my what what is my requirement here? My requirement is, if header fail, item should also fail. First, what we'll do again without update task, we'll call this in the error mode. So this time I'm passing as nine. And what I will do? See, here header is header one, item one. For header we have nine, primary key is nine, and for line item we have also nine. i am making this as 8 to generate some error duplicate record error okay so now if i press f5 so it is going inside header is process size of was equal to 0 and here see there is exceptions item fail see this time here we can see size of was equal to 2 because header is updated but the line item is failed if i press f8 see item updation failed but what is the requirement here if you see here this is the vba ke header nine number is updated this means that the header is updated but the line items are failed so our requirement either update all or none okay now let's see the same with the update task function so this time what i will do see 
जेड डेमो अंडर्स को अपडेट एफ एम इन अपडेट टास्क दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू नॉट एडिंग दिस की वर्ड इवन डो द एफ एम इज अपडेट एफ एम दिस विल बिहेव लाइक नॉर्मल एफ एम ओनली सो एडिंग दिस इन अपडेट टास्क इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो वेन वी एड दिस इन अपडेट टास्क सिस्टम द एग्जीक्यूशन पार्ट ऑफ दिस फंक्शन मॉडल इज डन इन अ सेपरेट सेशन and it will not update the record immediately it will schedule for update okay and when the record will get updated only after reaching the commit to work commit to work save check and activate only at the time of commit to work all will get inserted into database not during the execution part even if you have one fm or we are copying this and we have one more fm so all fm fm1 fm2 all will get only registered if you are calling in the update task and as soon as the commit work statement reach then all the details will get updated fine now first i will pass a okay record and then i will pass a failure record so this time what we will do i'll pass the record number 10 first let's try this with the valid record when there is no error okay so i'm passing record number 10 see everything is done see the record here record number 10 in the line item and record number 10 in the header as well now what i will do again let me set a break point here on this time i will set one error in the line item level okay header will be okay a line item fail so what will do i am passing the 11 number record but i want the line item to be fail for that header i am going to keep as it is 11 and i want the line item to be fail so i am passing this here as 10 okay now as this is in update task even if you press f5 this will not go inside this work in a separate session so even if i pass here as f5 see directly it comes the output okay and here we cannot see any exceptions even though item is fail we know item is fail why because this is working in the asynchronous mode now the commit work is reaches before that just check the table record in the header i pass 11 see is still no record is created right even the function model is executed item also no record is uh, inserted even the function model is executed why because still i have not processed the commit to work here is the commit to work right and also check the record in the table vb mod in which the function model is registered so currently this is old one not the current one okay this is the old data let me check the header table that is vb hdr this contain all the data okay this is also the old one not the current one now what i will do i will execute the commit see i am pressing here effect see here see the message express document update was cancelled why because even though my header record was proper but because my item is fail because my item data is fail the system will not update any record see here refresh this see there is no record in the line item as well as there is no record in the header fine because i call this in a update task and the the main use of update task is either all or rollback 
even if you have multiple insert and delete operation if even if any one is getting fail remaining all will be fail this is the beauty of update task now let's check this table first is vv mod here we can see the same table see update fm i think i created this z demo underscore update fm this we have created right so whenever the function module executed one entry is created in this table second table is vb header in the header see earlier only one record was there now we can see two record z demo underscore update fm call through this report we call that fm okay and third table is vb data so here you have to pass the key actually by copying from the vb mod and based on that we can see the data fine vb block is a cluster table so this is the use of update function module update function module works in a asynchronous mode and in case of update function module it is either update all or roll back so this is very important where we want to proper data consistency like if you are working with the header line item schedule line multiple tables and our requirement is either to perform all the operation as success or fail so in that case we can make use of this update function model and the important point is in update task if you forget to add this keyword in update task this will behave like a normal function model only fine so in this way we done with the session on update function model thank you